Finger Puppet Management, final presentation for Team Astro World. Our main goal with our TV show was that we wanted to show our understanding of what we have learned in the course and apply it in a real life scenario. Our target audience would be business professionals who work in an upbeat environment where many curveballs can be thrown, such as a hospital. We arranged our episodes in a way that you will see a clear issue followed by ways it can be solved, and then eventually a solution. The target management concepts we aim to cover in our episodes were Episode 1, Action Plans, Implementation, and Communication. Episode 2, Resistance to Change and Managing Change. Episode 3, Communication and Control. Episode 4, Strategic Management, Formulation, Implementation, and Evaluation. Episode 5, Human Resource Management, Job Analysis, Recruiting and Selecting. Episode 6, on-the-job training, evaluation, and action plans. In Episode 7, Discipline and Acceptance to Change. Our TV series consisted of five characters. Dr. Miranda Bailey, who is the new manager of the Grace Sloan Memorial Hospital, who is hardworking but has trouble with her management skills. She is a strong, independent character, and in the beginning of her new role, she tries to enforce her new authority a little too strongly. Asking Owen for help is new to her, but she wants to be a good manager, so she learns to lean on him for advice. Dr. Owen Hunt, who is the former manager, who helps Bailey run the hospital in a more efficient and productive manner. Owen is a former soldier and can handle high-pressure situations, can react quickly when needed, and is very good at coming up with a well-thought-out plan. These are skills that he can teach Miranda when handling various situations. Owen believes his methods are the best methods and is not always open-minded to hearing Miranda's ideas, since she has taken his old position. Dr. Meredith Gray is the wife of Dr. Derek Shepard. She is also an attending at the hospital. She is quite stubborn and seems to do what she wants, when she wants. Because her mother, also Dr. Gray, was a skillful and well-known doctor, Meredith thinks she can do as she pleases. Meredith's character will demonstrate some of the issues managers have with employees that have issues coping with change. Change can be a big challenge for new managers and experienced managers. Meredith is also a character that many audience members might relate to and their own experiences on how they might have handled change when a new manager stepped in or when a manager enforced a form of change. Dr. Derek Shepard is the husband of Meredith Gray and the best friend of Mark Sloan. He is a neurosurgeon attending at the Gray Sloan Memorial Hospital. Dr. Mark Sloan, also known as McSteamy, is a plastic surgeon attending at the hospital. He is also best friends with Dr. Shepard. Our basic storyline would be a TV show based off of Gray's Anatomy. The Gray Sloan Memorial Hospital is located in St. Petersburg, Florida instead of Seattle, and Miranda Bailey has just been promoted to become the new general manager. She has been having difficulties in running the hospital, since she has never dealt with the amount of responsibilities that were required in order to run the whole medical department. Due to her lack of experience in running a business, less and less people are coming to the hospital due to the system becoming more unorganized, which is resulting in the hospital slowly going into debt. Owen Hunt, the former manager, notices a decline in the amount of patients that are coming in on a daily basis and offers to help Bailey become more organized and efficient. Throughout the episodes, Owen describes to Bailey the top management techniques in order to run a successful business. Episode 1. In this episode, we go over action plans, implementation, and communication. The primary management concept in this episode is to show that Miranda has some ideas of what she would like to change or procedures to put in place. However, she lacks the experience in planning for change, and this lack of experience would make the doctors feel uneasy about her ability to lead the surgical department. This episode will show the external and internal struggles she faces, and the pressures and responsibilities that she has to face with this new leadership role. Episode 2 focuses on resistance to change and managing change. This episode focuses on people's willingness or resistance to change. Meredith is being resistant to the change before she even has given it a chance. Although she is correct that Miranda might need some guidance from Owen to help with a plan, her resistance seems to also be for personal reasons. Her resistance could influence how others feel about Miranda's decisions. This adds to the list of things that Miranda has to handle in a professional manner. This teaches Miranda how to separate her friendships from work relationships and handle things as a manager should and not a friend. In episode three, we go over the concepts of communication and control. Owen comes to Miranda thinking he knows what to do for the conflict, attempting to undermine her new authority. 
Miranda is defensive and does not want to hear out Owen. Owen feels his way of scheduling was working fine and doesn't want to hear Miranda's reasoning or what her big plan is for wanting to make the change. This causes discord between not only them, but the lack of agreeable leadership is causing tension within the whole team. Episode 4 focuses on strategic management, formulation, implementation, and evaluation. After days, the hospital becomes more chaotic as change begins to take place. Bailey starts to hear whispers around the hall that are about her and notices that everyone is disappointed. She finally decides to call Owen to her office to figure out a plan to make all the employees happy. Owen suggests that she uses the three strategies of strategic management, which are formulation, implementation, and evaluating to achieve firm's objectives. Bailey then set up a meeting with all of the employees in order to figure out everyone's availability so that the employees can receive their desired amount of hours. This new strategy made everyone satisfied with Bailey's management skills and helped give Bailey the confidence she needed as a leader. In episode five, we go over the concepts of human resource management, job analysis, and recruiting and selecting. In this episode, Bailey realizes there are more problems than the employees not receiving enough hours. She realizes that the interns weren't completing their daily goals and they were not being professional. Owen explains to her that she needs to hire new interns and that retraining the interns is not necessary since it's too time consuming. She then decides to have a meeting with the doctors in order to ask them what kind of intern they are looking for. As a group, they evaluate their needs and what they should look for in new hires to best help the department. Bailey then goes through the interviewing and hiring process with the new interns. Episode 6 prioritizes on-the-job training, evaluation, and action plans. The attendees are now in charge of training the interns that were interviewed and hired. Sloan seems to be getting along well with his new intern. Meredith is having a harder time stepping into this role, though. She doesn't want to give her new intern the opportunity to perform surgical procedures on her patients. She is afraid of them making a mistake. Because of this, the intern goes to Dr. Bailey to complain about the situation. Bailey is faced with the task of how to handle the situation with Meredith. She must weigh the outcome of the consequences on disciplining Meredith or decide to give her a chance to improve her behavior first. Bailey performs an evaluation of Meredith and then they sit down to go over the evaluation. They come up with an action plan to help Meredith have better training skills in the future. In episode 7, we go over discipline and acceptance to change. After Bailey evaluated Meredith, she told her what she needed to work on in order to be successful to continue work at the hospital. Bailey also gave her a warning that she needed to learn how to respect her new rules or she would be fired. Meredith then apologized and realized that she needed to be more respectful towards Bailey's new rules. Once Meredith become, began becoming more respectful towards Bailey and her new rules, everyone noticed a change in Meredith's behavior in a positive way. She realizes that by being cooperative, she was creating a better work environment for her co-workers. General Conclusions A manager's job has as much to do with managing human resources as it does managing tasks. Managers are faced with the challenge of ever-changing technology, and from what we learned, one of the best ways a manager can work through these issues is to not only be a flexible team player, but most importantly, a leader. This is our group reflection. We all came into this class knowing very little about the details and aspects of management. We all had a general idea of what it was, but we never thought there were so many concepts to go along with what makes a manager a good one. When we started and dove into our assignments, we all found that these concepts tied together well uh, with everyday management. We brought our heads together and found the best way to portray this through our episodes. With solid communication skills, we were able to brainstorm and pull together each assignment. Though there are very few bumps in the road, we were able to get everything done. Overall, it was a great experience and we learned a lot. Course Reflection for Carson At the start of this class, I was slightly worried about the format of an online class that focuses primarily on management. I knew this would involve learning different management tactics and more specifically, their application in the workforce, but wasn't sure how that could be translated online other than a read X tested on Y. Because of that, the group project format has been a very interesting dynamic to learn upon. I feel, although not always practical given all of us having different school, work, and all-around life schedules, it's still a very unique way to teach students how they would interact and cooperate with each other in a non-face-to-face -face work environment. This is Lexi's course reflection. Beginning this class, I thought it would be a boatload. Reading the syllabus originally freaked me out thinking about all the work that has to be done. Fortunately for me, I have a great team. We all work together on this knowing I can count on them has made this a memorable experience. 
Not only have we worked together on school assignments, but we've also gotten to know each other a bit. Overall, I can't complain. I've had a great group to work with. When we first began this project, I was very nervous that the end product was going to be making seven episodes. I am not a person that likes to hear my own voice or see myself on camera. However, as the project went along, I realized that there are tasks involved in this project for all types of personalities. So for me, personally, this wasn't as bad as I was first expecting. The biggest challenge has been working with a group with this being an online class. Students that take online classes usually have very busy schedules and possibly even odd hours they are available to do the work. We have all tried to be very flexible and open-minded. I have felt that the communication has stayed positive and hopefully everyone has felt open to sharing their own ideas. It was interesting to work on this while reading the chapters each week. I felt that with each chapter, we were able to expand on our episodes to go with what we were learning with each week. Started, I realized it was going to be a lot more work than I had first expected, but I was up for the challenge and ready to learn. Even with it being a group effort, it was still a lot of work. We started a group chat which turned out to be a very effective way to communicate. I didn't find there to be any harsh conversations or much frustration. We blended well as a team. As each assignment passed, I felt as if we grasped the material better and better. I know I did. This has been a positive experience. Course Reflection for Tatiana I had a good experience with this project in class as well because everyone was able to communicate efficiently and work on different parts of each assignment in order for our team to be successful. We all seem to get along very well and whenever there is an issue in our group, we talk about it maturely and think about what we can do to be better. I learned a lot in this class when it came to working in a team and I am glad to say that in the future it will be much easier for me to work as a team outside of this class. This is my course reflection, John. I enjoyed my time working on this project and with my group. We never had huge hurdles to overcome personally, and everyone was friendly and personable. The work in this class was challenging from a creative standpoint, but not impossible, and allowed us to creatively incorporate our concepts we were learning uh, each week into a project that kept it interesting. Thanks, Dr. Diazio. Here's our list of recommendations for future students. Communication is key. First, we would highly recommend finding a means of communication that works best for the group. Communication is quite possibly the most important thing for this management class. Without adequate communication skills, this class would be impossible to pass. Always be on time with assignments. Finishing the homework in a timely manner will be helpful as well. Time management is a skill that will be developed during the time of this course. Delegate who does what. Having a leader who reminds the group of due dates and initiates everything is also helpful. Give everyone a job and make sure they do their due diligence. Organize your documents. Ensure that all the work you turn in is cohesive and flows well. You will have up to six people contributing to the same document. It is important to bring all of those parts together to come from a single voice. Helpful tools. We use shared documents in Google Drive to collaborate together on each assignment. We also use software as iMovie, such as iMovie and OBS to help put a visual and audio files together for the video presentations. And have an open mindset. Make sure you are open to hearing others' ideas and to give everyone a chance to speak. Brainstorming is a big part of getting work done, so it's imperative to have open ears and an open mind.